Aloha, Hawaii. I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm your volunteer buddy as we journey to take your health back. We are coming to you live from downtown Honolulu from the studios of Think Tech Hawaii. Think Tech Hawaii hosts about 45 very diverse and colorful shows monthly. Today, our topic of discussion will be on a diabetes life of passion. We will be talking about diabetes background, clinical information, and lifestyle support, efforts to expand education, statistics, outreach programs, teaching, training, and instructing, CDC links, general information, and that's a lot, isn't it? But we're gonna try and capture it all. What I would like you to take away from today's show is the discussion in statistics. Remember the number. Who is affected, affected and education? No one is immune. The Tour de Cure, nutrition and exercise, and much more. So today I'd like to welcome a dear friend, an amazing volunteer for the American Diabetes Association. This gentleman gives tires, tirelessly, and you know how they say when you retire, you become more tired because you're working harder now. So I'd like to welcome Master LC Trainer, Doug Park. Aloha, Doug. Aloha. So, oh, good to hear from you, Doug. So, you know, yes. just tell us a little bit about your history of who you were, what you did before you came to ADA. Uh, well, pretty much it's, uh, you know, because I'm a senior already, so it's pretty long, so I'll try to make it concise. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I uh, was in business for almost 30 years in the, in the food industry, and I stopped. That was my first go around as a uh, getting into retirement. I came out and started another company into construction. It lasted 12 years, and along the way, I was uh, already a diabetic. So then my third go-round now is getting involved with, di you know, Diabetes Association. And it's been very great, uh, terrific for me. Uh, it's opened my eyes and helped me uh, ground myself with uh, diabetes and helped um, build my passion towards the getting diabetes out to the public. Wow. So you mentioned that you are a diabetic. You're a diabetic uh, type 1 or type 2? Uh, I'm a type 2 diabetic type and two. have been one for 51 years. Wow. So you p speak passionately from your heart and from your pancreas, I should say, about diabetes. Yeah. And I know of all people, you must know a lot about the different numbers that um, are just so prevalent here in Hawaii. Can you share some statistics with us, Doug? Sure. Uh, basically, in Hawaii, uh, as opposed to the world and uh, the uh, nation, the world and the nation represents roughly about 30% of the population with diabetes. But here in Hawaii, it's 65%, which is a astounding number to tell people and talk to them about. And, you know, they should all know that it also involves all four different areas of, regarding diabetes type 1, type 2, gestational, and pre-diabetes. All right. So that slide just showed us um, some of the numbers that uh, we're looking at. I know that uh, I've been on the board of directors for the last 10 years for the American Diabetes. When I first came on board, Doug, it was kind of crazy, the numbers. At that time, I want to just say we were 1.4 million people in Hawaii, and we quoted about 154,000 diabetics here in Hawaii. And now 10 years later, we're reporting over 600,000 diabetics in the state of Hawaii. And that is like an yes. epidemic beyond because it's now one to one. It, 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 I mean, just pretty much one-to-one -one that are diabetic here in Hawaii. And I think um, you work very hard and tire tirelessly on trying to educate people about that. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And, you know, getting out there to the public is uh, one of the main, major efforts by ourselves and the uh, Diabetes Association. And, you know, like I say, it's education, education, education. Um, right. We need to get out there and uh, spread the word. Yeah, and I know that um, you're, you're doing the best you can. You're everywhere every day, not even just riding your bike and getting the word out, but you're sitting at grocery stores. I know Time Supermarket is a great partner of ours and all the different other stores that come, up, uh, come on board to help us. But what can somebody do independently to just assess where they are with their diabetes health? Well, we have a, what we call a, a type 2 risk test that uh, is available uh, or, uh, through the mail, if we they need to get a copy of it, it's also available uh, through our offices as well as myself out in the trade. So all they need to do is look at the type two risk test, 
and uh, they'll be able to uh, download the form that comes with uh, a program that we have available and they can do the test themselves at home in the privacy of their residence and feel safe, you know, without worrying about everybody looking over their shoulders. Um, and also, when they do they take the test, the bottom number after reading and taking doing the numbers, the bottom number should be below five. Anything above five, they need to really consider speaking to their doctors. Wow. And that's a simple test. It's just answering questions about you, your lifestyle, where you're at, and that's how we can basically assess the numbers yes. below five or above five. Is that correct? That's correct. Wow. I mean, and that's simple. That's the first simple step that I think everybody should just be uh, passionately wanting to take just so they personally have a peace of mind or they have to work harder at um, more exercise, maybe eat less carbs, eat less sugar, and just a whole gamut of things. But by taking that assessment test, what it does is it brings to their attention, hey, I better see Doc because I think I may be yeah. in trouble <laughs> because I know too, Doug, that there's really no such thing as pre-diabetic, right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Uh, but I, you know, in, in essence, it, it comes down to a person really looking at the risk test that they, they're just taking per se. But, you know, I, I would have to say that there's so many factors involved. That so many. As long as they go to see us, as long as they go to see their doctor, you know, they'll be okay on getting off on the right foot. Right. Uh, starting off in the right, right direction. Right. That's the right thing. Just go see your doctor after you take your yep. assessment test. You know, I, I always look at you as our poster boy for ADA, but there are other champions as well. I know on the next mm -hmm. slide, we, we, we feature you with Dr. Uh, Parsis and the, that young, handsome man in between. Tell us a little bit yes. about him. Well, uh, basically, uh, we happen to be at one of the events, and Dr. Parser and I, the, of course, Dr. Parser, the good-looking guy next to me, of <laughs> course. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the little boy, well, not little anymore, but he's in the middle, and the son of Max, his name is Max Speed, and uh, he is a type 1 diabetic, and he's been very active in helping support the program. And we're very fortunate to have individuals like him uh, with the family, of course, uh, the, able to help everybody out with their program that we have with type ones and type twos. Right. Uh, he, the father's name is uh, Jermaine Speed. Mm -hmm. He's one of the, the main fundraisers for our organization. Uh, so, you know, he, he's, he's a great standout and uh, an emotional uh, support for our program. Right. I remember they coming. I, rem I remember when Jermaine came to us and he showed, uh, shared us a little, the little <laughs> Mr. Speed, and um, we were just touched by his story and his passion to drop everything in his life to do whatever it took to start making aware this dreadful disease to other Kiki in the state of Hawaii, as well as to just support his son as he journeyed through this part of his life as a type one diabetic. So congratulations to all of you, because I know you brought a lot of awareness through the speeds and um, very, very proud, proud of you. And so, you know, Doug, I know that you have this grand title of being a master LC trainer for the American Diabetes Association. In short, what are some of your tasks? Don't have to have all your whole list because we don't have enough time in this 30 minute program. <laughs> Just some, some simple yeah. tasks. Well, basically I'm uh, certified to train and teach and uh, instruct pharmacists, nurses, and uh, dietitians in a couple of special programs that are available to the organization I belong to besides the American uh, Diabetes Association. It's the, called the A, D, C, E, S organization. They just changed their uh, corporate name. So I'm, I'm, you have to bear with me and trying to remember what the acronym was. But basically it, it's to uh, uh, you know help educate and train these individuals to help go out and spread the word and to promote uh, a good life regarding diabetes. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's a big job in itself because you have to address uh, over 600,000 uh, audiences when you go because everybody in that number is a diabetic registered. 
So right. I know it takes not only yourself and American Diabetes, but we have a lot of support in the community. And I know, uh, was yes. it last year that Zippies, um, with Paul Yakota, he took the helm of being our chair for our Tour de Cure, Tour de Cure and he had all the right. Zippies totally on board with creating healthier menus. And uh, we're very grateful to, to him and his company and to many, many more companies. But I know you work very closely with another local supermarket. Can you share a little bit of, uh, about that with us? Yeah, Dietrich uh, was the other supervisor with uh, the, I uh, guess, working with Zippies, and they really brought us uh, to the fore and raised a tremendous amount of money to help everybody. So, you know, it's, it's a really worthwhile organization and effort, uh, just not alone by themselves, but so many other major uh, corporations that stepped up and helped us with, uh, you know, just helping us raise money. And, right. And, Doing that in Hawaii is, you know, faced with all the other organizations that you have to work with. Um, it was a monumental task and they did a tremendous job. Right, and then I know you spent a lot of time at one of the local supermarkets and you have a buddy yes. there. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, I do a lot of what they call tabling. So I'll go to the various stores and it's a time supermarket chain. And a lot of them, uh, I just happen to have a photo of them. And the, as you can see, uh, one of our top uh, pharmacists, and uh, she's the head pharmacist at the Waimalu uh, Time store. Uh, she just moved over to the Waipahu store. But that's just to give you an idea of what we do in the trade uh, to help support uh, organizations like Time Supermarket. Wow. And believe me, they do a tremendous job. Wow, and that makes a lot of sense for not just us, but for the businesses to align themselves with us because that shows that they are very proactive in helping the community. Yes. They're not just wanting to be a supermarket and bringing us products and produce, but they also want to partner it with us to helping us get well and better. Um, when I joined the ADA, I know that a lot of times they would call us to the Capitol, to the state Capitol, and we would be doing advocacy work. And I'm like, what is all this about? And so yeah. there's so much to be done. And I mean, until I got on board, I didn't know the depth of the, the work that the ADA does for the people of Hawaii, um, as far as just battling this this dreadful disease. Sure. But can you just sure. tell us what kind of work is done on that level at the Capitol? Well, basically, uh, it's uh, ADA has a special program involving advocacy, which is to promote, you know, uh, good lifestyles and everything else, but also to help promote programs and also uh, bills that might help, uh, you know, many of the individuals. And it just so happens, uh, uh, if you can see the, the slides that shows up uh, two individuals that I had a chance to meet with and to promote uh, uh, wellness and lifestyle and also to help and ask them for their support in promoting a couple of our uh, bills in front of the U.S. Senate and the U.S. US House. Uh, one of the bills is uh, the Insulin Price Reduction Act, which is a, uh, in the process of being uh, discussed and also hopefully passed by the U.S. House and the U.S. Senate. Also, uh, as you can see, uh, Congressman Ed Case. So both of them were very, very supportive, as long as the Senator Maisie Hirono, uh, in helping uh, support the programs and the bills that we are putting out to the trade. This is advocacy at its finest, and we're hoping to get the bills passed uh, this uh, ne next go around with Congress. Wow, that's on a whole different level, I mean, than what I signed up for, but it's exciting because I get to go and witness great uh, strides and accomplishments of the ADA and volunteer staff as well that go to fight for this, uh, this disease. And so I'm really excited that you are here with us and we have you as one of our poster boys, poster people to be the spokesman for <laughs> ADA. So right now, yeah. Doug, we will take a, a, a 60 second break and we'll be right back with more outstanding information that you can share from your heart. So thank you very much, Doug. Aloha, I'm Lillian Cumi, host of Lillian's Vegan World, the show where we talk about veganism and the plant-based diet located in Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm a vegan chef and cooking instructor, and I have lots of uh, information to share with you about how awesome this plant-based diet is. So do tune in every second Thursday from 1 p.m. Aloha. Aloha, I'm Dalen Yanagita, one of our hosts of our Business in Hawaii talk show on the Think Tech Hawaii. The theme of Business in Hawaii is to share with you stories of local businesses by local people. 
and our guests share with us their journey to building a successful business right here at home. We are streamed live on Think Tech Weekly at 2 p.m. on Thursdays. Thank you so much for watching our show. I am Daylan Yanagita, and we'll look forward to seeing you then. Aloha and welcome back. Here we are with Doug Park, our master trainer, LC trainer for the American Diabetes Association, who has given us his heart and his time and pretty much his life to help beat this uh, dreadful disease. And how do we beat it? How do we beat this dreadful disease? First of all, education. When we're aware of what it is, first of all, and how can we not allow it to enter our lives? How can we work hard to make it not a part of our lives? And then the next part is to take action. Take action so it doesn't be a part of our lives. And there are many, many ways that the American Diabetes Association has formed so that we can get more of you out there aware. And so, Doug, I want to ask you, how do you get more of the general community engaged in, in fighting this dreadful disease? Well, I'm really happy you asked that uh, question because we have uh, actually one of our signature events coming up. It's called the Tour de Cure. And it's an event that's held annually, and this year it's going to be at uh, on March 14th. Don't forget to um, mark your calendars, March 14th at Kapiolani Community uh, at, uh, Regional Park. And what we do there is, you know, besides having the event, uh, I want to take a pause right now to thank all of our major sponsors, our community support people, and people from the medical industry from helping us every year. And they've been instrumental in helping us raise the funds to help us, uh, you know, fight the fight to reduce the cost, cause and the, the problems with diabetes. But it's a signature event, as I mentioned. It's at uh, Kapiolani uh, Regional Park. And, you know, what we do there is, in order to uh, spread the word, uh, we're putting up signs and posters and things like that. But we're urging everybody to now come out and join in with us. We, it's a three-segment event. One portion of it is a walk, which a lot of you, I think, may have been involved with before. Another segment is our run segment, which is a 5 and 10K event. And the third portion is a uh, 10 to 25 or 50-mile bike ride. And all of these are you know, being done to help raise the awareness and also, of course, we need your really great support in raising our, our efforts to find the funds and help push through and find that all important uh, basic problems everybody has with diabetes. Wow, sounds like a big full day. I, I, I know that when we were just to step out and we just walked, it was a big event. Yes. But once we added the Tour de Cure, the biking portion of it, it grew even larger because now we start even earlier and we end yeah. even <laughs> later. And the course yeah. is not just around Diamond Head and or around Kapiolani Park, but we actually had the bikers out all the way to from Kapiolani Park through Kahala, Wailai, Makapu, and then they end up in Kailua. Yes, that's correct. And then they oh, turn around. Oh, no. And then they head yep. back up Makapu and all the way around. But you know, if you are a biker or you wanted a reason to bike, I think this is a great time to do so because it's, about, it's very well organized. We have yes. support throughout the route. We have um, medical staff. We have, if your bike has a flat or anything happens, we have people that can come on board to help you. But you get to ride down Makapu and in a safety mm -hmm. lane and enjoy the most beautiful sight in the world, coming around that bend, seeing that beautiful, yes. beautiful shades of blue and the beautiful ocean. I mean, it's remarkable and it's spectacular. Mm -hmm. spectacular. And I, I know money can't buy that. So think about it, guys. If you ever wanted to do it, you can start training and get your, you know, your butts in motion and get it on that bike seat and get going. And plus, like, you get to wear those nice little bike shorts. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> and, you know, it's a great, great cause. So and then yes. there's so many components, like Doug was mentioning, the walk the run and the ride. And the best part is when you finish up, um, we feed the bikers a nice uh, healthy meal. And then there, yes. I, I know we have a health tent and that health tent is the most packed 
ever because everyone out there is either with diabetes, either been just diagnosed with diabetes, or they know of a family member or friend with diabetes. And so they're very curious to learn about how can I help my family? How can I help my friends with this yeah. dreadful disease? Mm -hmm. And we have doctors on staff. We have many, many companies that come out to, to educate, to train and yes. show us what needs to be done, what can be done. And then we have entertainment and all the bikers trickle in, you know, depending on the length of their courses. But what other perks are there um, that you can think of, Doug? Well, uh, not only that, but in our, uh, for a lot of people, it's uh, getting back to, uh, I guess, reacquainting themselves with, uh, I guess, the event, and also to see the new friends or meet some new people, and to share thoughts about how it is to be a diabetic and living in uh, paradise. You know, it, it, it's one of those things for a lot of the people who come out, it might be the first time for them, and for them, they're, they're really surprised to see the amount of community support, uh, all the, the things that we are trying to do to help imp improve the nature of uh, people with diabetes. Uh, as a matter of fact, right now, if I, you don't mind my saying, uh, we, we're gonna be starting our annual uh, push to have uh, what we call rest stations over at the Makapu Point, where a lot of the cyclists come through on the weekends and so we'll be there on Sundays every other week to promote that for the next, uh, uh, I guess, six six weeks coming up. So we hopefully be able to see many of you out and out there riding and cycling. But you know, there's a lot of other areas that uh, we ask the sponsors uh, f while we ask for their support. There's a lot of things we can do in turn for them, as well as the community. And we can't forget the medical industry and the pharmacy groups that really uh, provide all the knowledge and support mm -hmm. that's a that's a lot of people <laughs> and i know people. <laughs> and i know doug i've been doing this i think for 10 years now and uh yes. um and i know that we have an annual shot or a photo that we must take every year and uh, yes. however hot it is however drenched we are i always bring my red cape <laughs> and oh, I boy, find Doug nice. as he comes through the line <laughs> and I said, I got to take with this Superman, I got to be Superwoman with my red cape oh, no. and get that photo. You, you actually make me look good. <laughs> no, it's the cape. <laughs> it's the cape. <laughs> and I just look forward to receiving you as you enter back into the park. And, you know, yep. when you're on the, on the course as well or at the, you know, you're called Doug, I mean, Mr. Park at the park, right? So it just yep. makes a lot of sense <laughs> that you are aligning yourself with this great, um, event, the Tour de Cure, sure. which is uh, coming right up. So, you know, the American Diabetes Association has a lot of very um, powerful and committed board members. How do they come out to support this? Well, a good example is, uh, as you can see by the slide that you we just put on, uh, there he is, one of our uh, elite board members, uh, which, you know, you're, form, you're part of. Uh, he's uh, actually in the medical industry. His name is Mark Tafoya. He's a retinopathist, which is, uh, for some of you who may not know, it has to do with the vision that people have to face with problems uh, with, with the eye if you are diabetic. In his case, he's a specialist, and it really gets down to the, uh, the really fine details of a person who is challenged with eye vision problems. Right. But here he is on his bike, and that tells you he's, he's there to help not only support us, but, you know, he does so much else besides uh, not only uh, like yourself on the board that you, what you do is tremendous already. Um, and there's so many others. Uh, Dr. Tafoya is a good example of that. Wow. You know, and he actually, he rides the talk, I should say. He doesn't walk the talk, he yes. rides the talk. <laughs> and he has a tent that he provides so people can come and ask all the questions they need to ask. You know, like, hey, I've been diabetic for only a year now. My sight is like Im right. getting impaired. What should I do? He'll offer them a consult to come in and examine the eyes and then he'll assess from that point. And the very wise ones will catch this opportunity mm -hmm. early before yes. it gets worse or worse in. And so mm -hmm. he, that's why he's there. He really wants to make sure that he helps you along your journey. So once you got the diagnosis of being diabetic, you're not in it you're not in it on a, alone. You have a whole team around you. I mean, like you yourself, Doug, you know, you offer your kind heart and your support just to comfort them through this time. And I know you have a, a booth at the tent and it's, what is it called again? It's called the Red... 
Rider tent. <laughs> the Red Rider tent. And so in yes. that tent, you welcome all the diabetics. And, you know, you're asking yes. them, how are you doing? How are you feeling? You know, because they have a different whole physical uh, attention that they need. So you're there to sure. recognize that because you yourself uh, know, know mm -hmm. more about it than most people. Mm, exactly. So we're so grateful that you're always there at that tent and just welcoming all the Red, red Riders, I should say. So I'm... <laughs> How can, you know, if, if, if we talk so much about this and it's coming right up, how can people get involved with this, uh, Doug? Well, you know, we've uh, got, all, you know, I, a lot of this will be uh, spreading the word, of course, but mm -hmm. we'll be part, you, if you look, there'll be, a, you know, Brooke Lee is going to be helping to spread the word uh, with uh, uh, events, etc. And uh, she'll be doing her uh, talk show on Sundays. But uh, with the slide, if you look at myself being part of the writing group, um, how do they get involved? Well, you can call me or you know, reach out to me. Uh, my email is available very easily, as well as my phone number, which uh, Wendy here has uh, access to. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, I'm sure she's probably tired of having to tell me things, but uh, I'm, uh, I will tell you that she is a really fantastic person, and we, we all want to thank her for all that she does for us. But you know, that's just a small segment of what everybody you know, would would like to see everybody get involved. And we need to get more people out there. We urge them to get involved and support us. Um, diabetes is not going to go away until we find a cure. Right. And when we do, then things will change. But up mm -hmm. to then, uh, we really ask for your support. We ask for your, we urge you to help us out, uh, you know, help us by fundraising for us, through us. Uh, or coming out and volunteering your services uh, at the event on that day, which is on, don't forget, March 14th. It's at uh, Kapiolani Regional Park, and we'll be seeing you all there. And believe me, it's, it is a really satisfying it's a uh, great day. time for you. It's a, yeah, great, it's day. a great day. Yes, and I also want to put a shout out to Brooke Lee and her brother yes. Brendan and her mother Tony. The Lee family yes. has um, agreed and they have been chairing this event uh, for since we kicked it off. And so come down and see the Lee family. Brooke will be there with us as well as Tony and her, uh, her, her son Brendan. And they have been doing a fabulous job, not just with the Hawaiian community and associations, but all of Hawaii because Tony has a great story as well. She was diagnosed. She was diabetic for a very short period of her life. She did whatever it took to beat it. She beat it and now she wants to share that with everyone. So come on down, hold hands with all of us and hold hearts with us. And you know what, together we can beat this. And as long as you come yes. out and take action, we shall. All right, so we amen. are- Amen, amen. Thank you so much, Doug, for being with us. We appreciate your time with us. We love you and we love all our sponsors and volunteers and boards that we work with. So for now, aloha from Think Tech Hawaii.